everyone and welcome back to the Welcome Sunday YouTube channel. I am Tour Guide Megan and for today's video we're going to talk about how to budget as a college student. What a wonderful All right, so to begin, it's important to recognize that all college students need to be financially responsible with their money in order to maximize their experiences and make sure that they're not coming out of college with a lot of debt, which unfortunately a lot of students do. But hopefully some of these ideas and tips and tricks that I will share with you guys today and what I personally do um, to stay on budget will help you during your four years of college. So let's go. And it goes a little yeah. like so the first thing that I want to talk about are student discounts. So let's say you know you want to go out to eat, you're peer pressured by your friends to go out and have a nice meal or to go out and go shopping, especially in New York City where there are tons and tons of things to do, restaurants to eat at, places to shop, you most likely will find yourself in this position of being like, I want to go and have fun and do all these, you know, fun things with my friends, but financially, how do I do that? So first of all, I want to share some apps that you can download on your phone that are for college students specifically that are strictly discounted websites and coupons for you to utilize when you're out eating or shopping. All right, so first I wanna talk about Unities. They are a college only discounted app. You can also access um, them on a website, but as you can see, they have tons and tons of discount codes for you to use and that can range from fashion to food and drink. Um, to technology and they have lots of good deals for college students um, in terms of like computers and laptops and tablets so you can get a ton of good deals um, through this website and again this is free all you have to do is sign up using uh, your college credentials and then you'll have access so the second website that I wanted to talk to you guys about this is also an app is student beans and it's the same as Unidays, but they do have a couple different like shopping places um, that offer discounts. My favorite is the Gymshark 20% student discount. I absolutely love Gymshark, so I always take advantage of this when I am shopping online. But again, they have great food and drink discounts as well as um, some, some technology discounts too. So it's you know a really great idea to take advantage of these student discount websites. All right, so in addition to these really great apps that have student discounts on there for you, as a PACE student, you will be given a PACE ID, which is what allows you to get into your residence hall and on campus. But normally, if you show your PACE ID pretty much anywhere in the city, whether it be a restaurant or you're shopping somewhere, they will normally give you a student discount. Even if they don't end up giving you a student discount, it doesn't hurt to try. But I found that most places will offer you a student discount if you show them your college ID. Another great thing is that in the surrounding Pace area, a lot of those restaurants and shops will post that they offer Pace University students specific discounts. So it's nice to utilize those as well. And it goes a little yeah. like so another great thing to do while you're a college student is to find an on-campus job or a job outside of campus, whichever is easier for you. I myself have both. I currently work obviously as a tour guide at the Welcome Center on campus and I also work at Starbucks just a couple blocks away from Pace. So it's nice to have two sources of income even though I don't work a crazy amount of hours obviously because college and my academics come first. I still have some money coming in that I utilize uh, to pay weekly bills or just as a little bit of fun money. So it's always a great idea to have a cash flow and source coming in rather than just spending, spending, spending. I always make sure that I have money coming in before I'm spending money, sometimes. So 
Another great thing is that Pace does offer a lot of on-campus jobs to students. I have quite a few friends who have on-campus jobs in all different areas. So you can be a tutor in our tutoring center. You can also do phone calls. You can work at the front desks in our residence halls. You can be a tour guide. So there's so many different jobs and there really is something for everyone. And it goes a little yeah. something like So one main thing that we always promote at Pace is the fact that Getting internships is not only great for experience, but a lot of unpaid internships can turn into paid internships depending on how long you stay with the company or if you end up working your way up. Um, so definitely don't turn away from the unpaid internship opportunities because a lot of times that's good experience just to get your feet wet and to get some experience to add to your resume before taking those paid internships but that's not to say that those unpaid internships can't in return provide some monetary um, benefits for you in the future and it goes a little yeah. like so I know a lot of what I've told you has involved trying to find discounts, making sure if you are a big spender that you possibly get a job so that way you at least have some money coming in and to look for those paid internships if you can and if they're available to you. But I think most importantly, when it comes down to budgeting as a college student, it's important to actually write out what your budget is and make sure that you're holding yourself accountable for that specific budget. So when you are writing out your budget, make sure you write out all of your fixed um, bills at the beginning before you write out what money you wanna designate for fund money and so forth because you obviously, if you have stuff that you have to pay every month, make sure that that is covered before you go out and do anything else. So for myself personally, I pay for a Prime Amazon membership and I also pay for Apple Care for my phone as well as an Apple Music membership. So even though those are relatively inexpensive things, I always make sure I write them down to make sure that I do have enough money to cover those for each month. And then I'll go down my list and add, okay, given on what I'm making this month, I'll have this much money left over for fun money. But it's also important to always save some of your money as well. Don't just spend it all on fun stuff. Definitely at least save, you know, 40 to 50% of your check if you're able to and if you're, you know, earning income. But if not, just make sure you always have a little bit of extra money for emergency purposes as well. And it goes a little yeah. like Aside from writing out a budget and you know doing things that involve spending money there are also so many free things that you can do as a college student especially in New York City there are tons and tons of free events and places to go around the city that require no money but you still have and get a really great experience and you get to hang out with your friends so there are tons of websites that you can see what is currently happening in new york city as far as events go and it will let you know if it's a free event and i will include all of my favorite websites and instagram handles that i follow that talk about what's going on in new york city and all of the fun and free stuff that you can go to because there definitely are plenty of them. Okay, so my favorite website that I wanted to show you guys is called Time Out um, New York. All you have to do if you forget that's what it's called is to Google what is there to do in New York City today and this will most likely be the top website that will pop up. But I love because it shows you like current things you can be doing right now but then it also has a ton of different categories and the food and drink one is always my favorite and i know right now with coronavirus new york city has opened a lot of outdoor dining um spots so while i was actually on this website i saw um there was a link that let you uh, know what restaurants are currently opening for outdoor dining and i am so excited to go to some of these really fun places when I am back um, in the city in the next like week or two. And it's just a great uh, website to visit. Cause like I said, there's so many fun things that you can find on here. So 
So I hope this video was somewhat informative to you guys on how I personally budget my life and how I make time and have money to do some of these fun things. But definitely, like I said, check out some of the websites that I'll have posted and the Instagrams and the apps because they really are lifesavers. And at the end of the day, a lot of places do like to give college students discounts because they do recognize that college is a pretty expensive time of your life for most people. So whatever you can do to save a penny, definitely take advantage of that. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the Welcome Center YouTube channel because of course we have some more amazing content coming out. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,